Welcome to Soltron. This is the video review for High Speed Fighters by Black Mamba. This is how the combined mode scales with other figures. So it's about the same size as a two train LDCX combiner. Here's the instruction manuals that they come with. It'd be cool if they like made one picture when you put them next to each other, but they don't. The female instructions are bigger than the males for some reason, but they're pretty much the same thing. And the male one has this QR code, which links to an app that I don't have. So it just shows you how to transform them and put them in combined mode. And then it has a picture of the combined mode here. And then um, on the back, you'll notice it does have the Black Mamba trademark. So that's surprising that that's the company that made this. So here's the artwork for the combined mode. Looks pretty cool. And then the reality is he looks kind of more like this. So it's not quite where the art is. And then he can't actually hold his gun when you have him transformed this way because there's no elbow joint. And you can kind of get his shoulder to move forward. It's technically pinned or tabbed into the shoulder pad so you have to untab that and then you can rotate this forward and then this chest piece is going to get in the way but that'll allow you to at least get the gun in his hand and it's got a little slot so you can hold it better and there you go that's what he looks like holding his gun so it's not really worth the trouble it looks pretty awkward and then the artwork shows that this is where the forearm should look like but the instructions show that you should actually rotate the forearm this way so that the train part is showing and then you just rotate the wrist up so I personally like shortening the arms to give it this color because there's a lot of white and silver happening but you can do it this way as well and then if you extend if you extend this joint here, which is the thigh of one of the robots, you can get an elbow joint and a bicep swivel. If you have it compressed like this, the proportions are better, but you lose some of that articulation. You just have the outward motion on the shoulder. So as for articulation, well, if we take a look at his head, it's pretty hard to tell, but these eyes are a dark red, but this head sculpt is really excellent looking. It's kind of like a Nemesis Prime look. And it's on a ball joint, so good articulation there. And then as I mentioned, if you have this transformed correctly, these the shoulder pad's gonna peg into the shoulder, so that would actually not give you shoulder swivel. But if you unpeg it, you can rotate the shoulders forward. And then you do have outward rotation on a ratchet. And then if you have this leg joint extended, you will get what used to be the knee for an elbow. And then you do have a swivel on the wrist, and then fingers, and a ball joint thumb. Okay, and if you have the arm compressed, you're only going to get the shoulder moving forward and backward, and then an in and out. Okay, and this figure's kind of falling apart a little bit, because this is very lightly tabbed in. And then the actual robot hips, the combined mode hips just can't carry all this weight so you just have a regular universal joint for the hips so you get a good bound of outward kick and then 45 degrees forward 45 degrees backwards and then 90 degrees at these knees which are on a pin joint and these pins are pretty loose and then finally you do have pivot on the ankles so that's pretty useful so the combined mode of the robot is looking okay um, you kind of have to mistransform it for it to look really good. I like how this section looks. If you transform it correctly, his hand is pretty much to his to his ankle, and that's ridiculous. That's that's not good proportions to me. So the official transformation doesn't look very good, but I like the way this looks. So the combined mode, I would say, it's definitely got a lot of kibble. It it doesn't feel great in hand. It's just got this huge train chunk back here for no good reason. It's, it's got some problems, so um, I would say that 
this figure is probably a six. He's very busy looking, and it's just not great to to handle. I'd say the quality of the plastic is probably a six or a seven. Some of the joints are just a little bit loose. The tolerances are a little bit off, and things just come off a little bit too easily. But this is the combined mode. So to uncombine, you're just going to remove all the combined mode pieces. So now you have this extra piece here. You got to remove these hands. So those just peg on to the legs of the top robot. The head just covers the head of the top robot, the male robot. And then the feet just slot onto the bottom of the bottom robot feet with these two tabs. So you're just going to pull those off. And that's, oh, and then you just have this big chunk back here, which frictions onto this, which is the back panel of the top robot. So now you just have your two robots. Um, so they're not looking so great without their combined pieces, but you could, you could display them this way. And then the way they combine is they have these two tabs on the top robot, and you just separate them. And then their transformation for both of them is pretty similar. So you get... So you get all these combined mode pieces. You kind of just shove those aside for now. You're not going to be using those, except for this gun. So the combined gun, you just pull it apart, and it's got an extra handle that can fold down. So now you have a rifle and a bazooka piece. Okay, transforming the male robot's pretty simple. So what used to be the combined mode shoulders are going to become his hips. So you just rotate those around so the pelvis is showing forward and then you rotate the thigh swivel so that the knee pad will be forward and then you just sandwich the two pelvis pieces together okay and you can see this robot's already nearly complete and you're just going to fold down these toe sections and these are die cast um, these are the only die cast pieces as far as i can tell and then you're just going to fold down the arm sections from inside the nose cone of the train and then just flip out the fist from the forearms so this is very reminiscent of Combiner Wars. It's very similar, everything. And you could kind of just leave the nose cone sections here, but those are actually supposed to fold up behind the shoulders. And then you kind of have to look at this ugly, um, no texture, white plastic. So not, not my favorite thing about these guys. And then the female robot is going to transform in pretty much the same way, so she's already kind of ready for the lower body. This combined mode pelvis piece is actually going to become her chest, so that folds up on a hinge, so that's a pretty nice touch. The arms are going to hinge forward, and then you can't really get the fists out. There's nothing to grip, so I'm going to have to use something to pry those out. Okay, and then same thing on the nose cone of the train. You're just going to rotate these behind her arms and just kind of ignore them and then you fold up down this back panel fold up the head all the way and then you tab the back panel back into the back and then she's all transformed okay so here's these two they're looking pretty good so I'll do a size comparison okay and you can see they're pretty much a head taller than Voyager size so they are still a little bit bigger than a Voyager articulation is pretty much the same for both of these they have ball joint Next, you have this shoulder joint for transformation. You also have a full outward motion. You have 90 degrees on the elbow, bicep swivel. You have this joint for transformation. No hip joints at all, no waist joints. You do have full outward kick and then about 45 degrees forward. And then this one has 90 degrees backwards, but the female only has 45 degrees backwards and then you have 90 degrees on the knee which is on these pin joints which are a little bit loose and then you have the toe joint and ankle pivot so articulation on these is on par with what you'd get out of combiner wars figures and then just a close-up of the head sculpts so you get an onslaught um, sound wave kind of looking head on this guy and then you have like a victorian combiner wars looking head on this one maybe kind of an RC-ish kind of look. And then they're pretty clean, except for the nose cones on the train. Those don't clean up very well. But, but otherwise, they're pretty simplified, and I think the male robot's looking pretty good in this mode. 
So to get them ready for transformation, it's pretty simple. You're just going to take the weapons and these don't have any storage. So you're just going to put these off to the side and forget about them. You're going to now manage all these extra junk pieces. So here's the, the combined mode feet. These just sandwich together, but really they could have made it so that this shell would come off and it would give you some storage so you can put the guns in here because that, that would be a pretty good fit. But I guess they didn't think about that. So now you just have this chunk, which is going to combine with the female train once you get her in her alt mode. And then you have this ugly chunk, which really just does nothing in combine mode. It just does nothing altogether, which is too bad because these halves do separate. So they could have been used for something, but um, it doesn't say to do this in the instructions, but you can fit the fists. If you put them in diagonally, they do fit in here. You could also fit the combined mode head instead, but you can't get all of it in there. So this is a, at least this can act for storage. So it's not just, it's not just do empty, useless space. And then you just sandwich that together. And then the chest piece, the combined chest is just going to fold down and then it's going to hinge there. And then these two tabs here are going to clip on to this extra train piece that we just assembled. And that's going to combine with the male robot once he's in his alt mode. And then if you look at the underside of this, you can have your heart broken by the fact that they could have easily put in something here so that the head could store in here, but they didn't think of that either apparently. So just unused space that could have been put to good use. Okay, both of these robots transform in exactly the same way. So you're just going to hinge the legs down like the Combiner Wars figure. You're going to hinge the toes up and then you're just gonna sandwich the two legs together. And now you're going to open up the back panel and get rid of the head. Close that up, and then you want the arms. You're gonna fold in the fists, so that's you're probably used to doing that. And then you're just going to rotate these arm panels up, and then you can see that there's these tabs under the armpit, and you would think that these two tabs would like tab together when you put the two shoulder bits together, but they actually don't do that. That's for the combined mode. But that's the position you want to get them in. So the you just want to get the arms over the head, basically. And then you're going to straighten out the nose cone. It's got this, um, it's a little awkward to deal with because it's got this armature, which rotates, and it's got a ball joint at the end. So it's got a lot of different positions you can put it in. But you basically just want the arms pointing straight up, and then the nose cone above that, and then you just peg it together. Because these tabs go in those holes, obviously. Okay, so I just cleaned that up a little bit. And now you have these panels, which are on the side of the legs. They have this extra piece here. And this, this especially feels very cheap. This feels very KO-ish. And then you're just going to hinge all this forward and cover up the middle section of the train. And then sandwich those together the best you can. Okay, and those sandwich together pretty well. And then finally, you're just going to take this extra train piece and that's just going to use friction with these tabs and it's just going to peg onto the back of the train. So that completes one train and you do the same thing with the female. Okay, and let's just point out there's a huge gap here. Could have easily worked in some weapon storage, but no. And then finally, you're just gonna take her extra train bit and that's just gonna tab in to the back the same exact way. Okay, so now you have these two trains, which I, I'm pretty sure are real Chinese trains. Um, they're the same as the LDCX trains, like uh, Golden Phoenix and the Red Dragon. And then you just have these bits, and there's just unfortunately nowhere to put these. And this is how they scale with an LDCX train, so they're, they don't scale at all. They're about almost as twice as big. And this is how they scale with the Deluxe Transformer, and I actually think that's a pretty good scale. That that looks correct to me compared to this is obviously too small. So I think these figures are pretty good in hand. They feel fairly solid, probably around a 6, especially with these train panels feel kind of cheap. 
and some of the joints are a little bit loose and just don't feel like the right tolerance um, but they're actually fairly solid I'm not worried about these breaking or anything and the paint on this one is quite nice the silver paint shows up really well so the quality I, I'd bump it up to a seven grudgingly and then the the fun factor yeah it's pretty fun you, there's a lot of stuff you can do it with these since they have their three modes and um, they kind of do a lot even though the combined modes a little bit sloppy but it is it is kind of fun so if these are figures that really appeal to you you can order yours on sir toys I'll leave the link in the description and that's it